Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you symmetrical letter logo with the grid and the circle and square. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, if we analyze the grid, uh, we just got some lines and square shapes with the circles and with the shape builders tool, we just made the shape like that and the line and the grid is really cool at first going to the file and going to the new options from here taking an artboard which is a 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and giving the name yc logo and whatever it is cmyk color mode if you want to go to the press if you take this one rgb you can go to the web and going to the create option it will get an artboard and now we'll start the process at first going to the line segment tool press the shift and hold it and drawing a line like that after that we'll make copy 12 lines so press the shift and hold it and press the option or alter button and then we just made a one copy we will make this one 12 copy 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now we'll make all the stuffs in a group and making them into bigger align them into middle of the artboard and after that ctrl c and ctrl f and then press the shift and hold it and rotate this one into 90 degrees okay after that going to the ellipse tool and making ellipse according to the bigger square okay press ctrl c and ctrl f this square and making it a little bit smaller according to the next square shape and again ctrl c and ctrl f making this more smaller like this ctrl c ctrl f making this smaller like this and so on you can make it more smaller if you want if you need it okay fine so here if we go to this portion let's take this one in this window it will help us out to make properly so this one at first uh, here the segment and here is another segment we'll use color two colors actually if i use color over here suppose this one is like this and this one selecting this okay so these two color will use over there before that you have to make this circle and uh, you have to make the shape just because of uh, the two separated part okay selecting all the steps shift m for the shape builders tool making them into line so at first you should take a color which is help you out to recognize the options so from here we'll select these three and these three and now we'll make them to join with each other okay this part is done and now we are getting this one so from here so we got two parts one and two and now all the line will delete by the help of the magic one tool here is magic one tool select one line and you can delete all the stops like this that's great and now you're getting like this okay uh now we'll use the gradient over here so using gradient here's some gradient palette we'll pick it up from here okay that's good right press and ungroup that okay and here is another portion which is for the shadow part okay we'll use that for the shadow depth first one press i from the color picker and select this before that you have to make it ungroup okay fine and this one i'll choose the color like that now time to adjust the gradient g from the keyboard and adjust the gradient like this so this one is good and this one you should make it reverse it will be like that and now ctrl c and ctrl f i from the keyboard or you can make the gradient manually from here we'll make the gradient manually for the black purpose actually this one will represent the shadow okay after that here is the blending options of transparency make it multiply 
you press G from the keyboard and making a little bit shadow over there okay that's good selecting all the steps making it group after making it group going to the rectangle drawing square shape like this and sending it to back of the layer okay and middle of the artboard now we'll pick color from here the dark blue and from here we'll go to the darker portion actually more darker okay that's good you're getting a nice logo and now you can place the text according to this so like that you can make it a little bit bigger and a little bit downside making them to alignment into middle if you want or uh, you can make it like that so it's totally up to you i think the middle should be more nice making it like that alignment into middle that's fine deleting all the stops and for the depth or for the design purpose we'll make copy this one again and paste it out making it bigger like this okay that's fine and making this one into only 12 percent to upper side okay that's fine this one is like a representation purpose and it will make the depth if you want okay that's fine and these two things will make like clipping mask so the background control c and control f making it to upper side select these two stops and making it clipping mask and now into the down side of the layer that's good we'll make down of the opacity more okay that's good so you are getting a nice logo with a nice presentation and you can just leave it or you can just give it to your feedback for the client and other stuff so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share as your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and amazing logo tutorials next and stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye